Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and happy Halloween. <laughs> it's a cold October day here in Northwest Wyoming. I thought I'd do a real short video, an update on the door situation. If you watched my last video, you know that we just bought a 2023 Tesla Model X. This is an August 2023 build and uh, we've got about 5,000 miles on it and I'm really enjoying the car. There's one thing that Tesla is neutered in this new version of the car and that is the self-opening front doors. Now these doors, you can enable it and they do pop open, but they only pop open just a few inches. And on our previous car, they would open all the way, enough that you could enter and exit the car without having to manually open the doors. Now mysteriously, the feature sort of disappeared when Tesla removed the ultrasonic sensors on the side. And uh, they're relying on the cameras now to determine how close or far away you are from a side object. Uh, a lot of people said, well, let's hope that feature comes back once they get that figured out. It's just a software thing after all. Other people said, well, the hardware has been changed and, and they, the door is no longer fully open all the way. Uh, I think we're going to try to answer that question today. One thing for certain is the Falcon Wing door is open and they're still able to detect how close you are to a car or a wall or some other obstruction in order to figure out how to open the Falcon Wing doors. Uh, and they've got cameras on the side. Between those two sensors, there ought to be enough information that they should be able to have the, the front doors open just like they have in the past. Someone else posted online that Tesla disabled the uh, self-opening front doors because they had too many instances where the wind caught the front doors and uh, pushed them open and, and uh, caused some damage to another car or to the doors themselves. While that argument might sound like it makes sense, uh, then I wonder why Tesla hasn't disabled it on all the previous X's. Uh, there are certainly times when the wind can catch the doors. They can catch any door and, and catch you off guard. So it's, you know, that's an operator error. Uh, I don't really see that that's a limiting factor. Well, I think we're going to answer this question once and for all. <laughs> Does it have the ability to open and close the doors? And uh, one way to find out is to essentially do the light show. This is uh, something where all the doors open and close. So let's quit and let's give this a try. Let's answer this question. Can the doors open all the way? So, read this. It says, yeah, make sure you got plenty of space. Let's confirm. Well, let's see what happens. Let's exit it. Well, there goes the front doors. They're slowly starting to open. Well, the doors are open just as far as they were in our previous X. So we now know that Tesla has the ability to open the doors all the way. Let's hope that Tesla adds this feature back into the future. Boy, would that sure make a nice Christmas present. Well, that's it for now. I hope to see you in the next video. Until next time, be safe and be kind.